What is a shark? Is a shark a fish? If it is a fish, how's it different from other fish? How do I know if I'm looking at a shark or another fish? If you guys have been asking some of these questions, then you are in the right place, as in this video, we're gonna answer all those questions. Welcome to Ginger Undersea, guys. I'm Greg Holder, and today we are gonna be talking about how sharks differ from other fish in the ocean and how we can identify if we're looking at a shark or another fish. So let's dive straight into the video. So first of all, we can identify fish into two main groups. First of all, we've got the bony fish or the teleosts. They make up about 97% of the different marine species we see in the oceans today. These teleosts make up the vast majority of fish we see on reefs and other dives, and also the vast majority of the fish catch in our fishing industry. And then the other group are the cartilaginous fish, otherwise known as chondrichthyans, and they can be split up into three main groups, which are the sharks, the rays and the skates, and the chimera. And they make up around 3% of all fish species in the ocean today. So we've already stumbled across our very first identifying feature between sharks and the majority of other fish, and that is their skeletal structure. As we mentioned, sharks are chondrichthyans or cartilaginous fish, so their skeletons are made up of cartilage. This is the same material or very similar material as in our ears and in our noses. Now sharks, cartilage and skeletons are very much more simple than the majority of other fish. And as you can see in this image here, their skeletal structure is really quite minimal and very simplistic. Also, a benefit of having cartilage and a skeleton means that they're much lighter and therefore they have a reduced swimming effort and take up less energy when they're swimming around. It's also thought that the uh, cartilage and a skeleton in fact, heals much faster and much better than a bony skeleton, which is why we see a lot of sharks recovering from some really nasty injuries that most other animals would not recover from. And the cartilage and skeleton is also much more flexible, which means sharks tend to be much more flexible and more agile than a lot of other fish. In contrast to this, the majority of fish, as I said at the start, are teleosts or bony fish, so they have very complex bony skeleton structures with many different materials in, including obviously calcium based bone, but also they've got cartilage, tendons, ligaments. And as you can see in this image, the skeleton of a teleost is much more complicated and much heavier than our sharks. So difference number two between sharks and fish is that sharks have exposed gill slits. As you can see here, you can visibly see the five gill slits of sharks. Now the vast majority of sharks have those five gill slits unless you are looking at a cow shark or a hexanchi form which actually has six or seven gill slits but the vast majority of sharks in the ocean have five gill slits exposed on the side of their head as you can see here. Bony fish have their gill filaments covered in a hard plate called an operculum so therefore when you look at a bony fish all you'll see is one sort of hard flap and the gill filaments are actually resting underneath that flap where when you look at a shark, you can see the exposed gill openings as the water runs through. Now sharks and bony fish use these gills for gas exchange of carbon dioxide and oxygen to breathe. Difference number three is that sharks have rigid pectoral fins. So they're fins that are on the side of their body just behind their head. They are rigid and stuck in place. They have a slight bit of maneuverability, which means that they can change their roll, their yaw and their tilt but apart from that, they don't move very much and therefore they rely on their tail or their caudal fin for propulsion. So therefore sharks can only swim forwards. They physically cannot swim backwards. Now, bony fish have very flexible pectoral fins, which means that they can actually use them for propulsion and also use them to go forwards and backwards. As you can see in this video of this very friendly potato grouper on a dive that I had, you can see he's using his pectoral fins to move himself slightly backwards or slightly forwards in the water column, hovering at the height of the divers. Now this brings us on to our next point, which is buoyancy. Sharks do not actually possess a swim bladder like bony fish. They in fact have an, a very large oil filled liver which gives them some buoyancy as oil is less dense than water, but this doesn't actually give them enough buoyancy to make them neutrally buoyant. So all sharks are in fact negatively buoyant, which means if the shark stops swimming, they will sink. Now, the only known exception to this rule is 
uh, spotted ragged tooth sharks which have actually been observed as you can see in this video coming up to the surface and gulping air into their stomachs which actually creates a temporary swim bladder and if you want to learn more about the ragged tooth sharks then check out my video here talking all about that particular species whereas bony fish do possess a swim bladder which is a gas filled organ which they can change the size of to adjust their buoyancy which means they can hover motionless in the water again as we can see from our friendly potato grouper here you can see him hovering neutrally buoyant in the water to have a bit of an interaction with us divers now the fifth difference between sharks and bony fish is their teeth sharks have many rows of teeth in their mouth at any one time and when they lose a tooth which they regularly do another tooth which is sitting behind will move into place sometimes as quickly as 24 hours and most sharks get through thousands and thousands of teeth in their lifetime whereas bony fish have just one set of teeth and these teeth are embedded in their jawbone so when they lose that teeth it is very slow to be replaced if it's replaced at all and to learn a lot more about shark teeth in particular then you can again check out my video up in the top corner here going into a lot more detail about the different shapes and sizes of shark teeth and also the trade of shark teeth and finally the last big difference between sharks and the majority of other fish is their skin now sharks to the normal eye look like they have very smooth skin now in fact their skin is covered in millions of tiny tooth-like structures called dermal denticles so these are hard sharp structures that are covering the entire length of the body and these are very different shapes according to uh, the different species of sharks but it's thought that these dermal denticles make sharks more streamlined in the water but it also protects them from parasites and disease and infection because of these hard strong dermal denticles now where they differ from bony fish is bony fish have these much larger overlapping scales which are much more visible to the naked eye and they are covered in a bit of a mucus layer which you will have felt if you've ever felt a live fish so there you go guys there are your six main differences between sharks and your average bony fish so remember guys if you are looking at a fish and wondering if it is a shark the main things to look for are the rigid pectoral fins sticking out from the side of its body the exposed gill slits that you should see on the side of its head there should be five gill slits unless you're looking at a cow shark which will have six or seven then in its mouth should have a whole mouthful of teeth many many rows of teeth instead of just one set of rigid teeth and finally its skin should look relatively smooth and is not covered in scales if it's covered in scales then you are looking at a teleost or a bony fish so guys i really hope you enjoyed this video today and you've learned something if you got some value from this video please do give it a like on the button below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to continue learning more about sharks marine conservation and diving thank you so much for joining today guys and i'll see you at the next one